My name is Flash Isaac and I'm a teacher from the future. Measurements and units. In physics, we have a lot of quantities referred to as physical quantities. Any quantity that can be measured is a physical quantity. And out of that physical, uh, physical quantities, some are fundamental, while some are derived. Fundamental quantity, they are on their own. They don't depend on any other quantity. So they are independent of any other quantity. And these fundamental quantities, they have their own unit. So they don't depend on any other unit. We also have derived quantities. These derived quantities, as the name implies, they are from fundamental quantities, which means they get their formula, they get their units from the fundamental quantities, and they are gotten by emerging two, three, or more fundamental quantities. Then, each of these quantities, they have their dimensions, the way we represent them. Dimension is different from units. The three main fundamental quantities are length, mass, and time. But looking at all the fundamental quantities, you use this shortcut or this to remember them. Meta squared. Where n is mass. E is electric current or you say current. T is temperature. A is amount of substance. The L, one of the L stands for length. The second L stands for luminous intensity, which is measured in candela. For every quantity, you have a unit. The unit of mass is kilogram. That is the standard unit. We have other smaller ones, grams, milligrams. Then, current, the unit of current is ampere, or current is measured in amperes. A, temperature, Kelvin. We also have Celsius and Fahrenheit scale of temperature. Amount of substance is in mole. Length is in meter. We have centimeter, millimeter, decimeter, and liter. So, this you are seeing here, they are the fundamental quantities. They are quantities that don't depend on any other quantities. And these are their units. For every quantity, you have dimension. For example, looking at the three main fundamental quantities, the dimension for mass is capital M, the dimension for time is capital T, the dimension for L is capital L. How do we measure, measure the three main fundamental quantities, which are length, mass, and time? To measure length, you use the meter rule, the vernier caliper, or micrometer screw gauge. And volume is length times length times length. You can measure volume using cylinder. The units of volume are centimeter cube or millimeter cube or meter cube, depending on the unit you are dealing with. What is meter rule? What is vernier caliper? And what are micrometer screw gauge? What Jam expects you to know about meter rule is that it is an instrument or a device used to measure length. And it measures to two decimal places in centimeter, which means you can only have 0 0.01 centimeter or 0, 0.0 something centimeter. It should not be more than that. Any measurement more than that is not by a meter rule. Accuracy of meter rule is 1 millimeter or 0 0.1 centimeter. Well, that is the smallest gradation. The written accuracy of a meter rule is 0 0.5 millimeter or 0 0.05 centimeter. This is what it means. If I give you something to measure, if that thing is 10 millimeter, the error or the uh, if you measure it using meter rule, you will get the measurement plus or minus 0 0.5 millimeter, which means 10.5 millimeter or 9.5 millimeter. That is if 10.5 minus 0.5 is 9.5.
That is the meaning of plus or minus. Either there is addition of 0.5 millimeter error or that it is reduced by 0.5 millimeter. So that is the range of errors you can get in a meter rule. A meter rule is used for long lengths. Then vernier calipers. John expects you to know that a vernier caliper is an instrument used to measure length. It has two scales. One of the scale is called main scale. The second one is referred to as vernier scale. The main scale is fixed. The vernier scale is movable. Which means calipers have a fixed and movable scales. The second scale, which is the movable scale, measured one tenth of the main scale. Therefore, if the main scale is 0.1 cm, the uh, vernier scale is 0.1 divided by 10. That is 0.01 cm. It is used for internal and external diameter of round objects. That is what vernier caliper is used for, internal and external diameter of round objects. To measure, like balls, you can measure ball using vernier caliper. Then pipe, as you can see, you know pipe has round outside and round inside. That internal diameter, external diameter of that round object can be measured using vernier caliper. And the reading accuracy of vernier caliper is when you say, let the vernier scale minus the main scale over vernier scale. Any answer you get is accuracy. And vernier caliper measures to two decimal places in centimeter. And it is 10 times more accurate than the meter rule. The similarity between them right now is that both meter rule and caliper, they measure up to two decimal places in centimeter. But while meter rule has only one scale, the vernier caliper has two scales. And the accuracy of um, vernier caliper is the measurement plus or minus 0.1 millimeter, which means it is far, far more accurate than meter rule, which measures get the measurement plus or minus 0.5 millimeter. So this error is bigger than this error, which is 0.1 millimeter or plus or minus 0.01 centimeter. Then, micrometer screw gauge, on the other hand, is also an instrument used for measuring length. It measures to three decimal places in centimeter. This is what differentiates it from the meter rule and the vernier caliper. These two guys measure to two decimal places in centimeter, but micrometer screw gauge, screw gauge measures up to three decimal places in centimeter. And the reason accuracy of micrometer screw gauge is the main scale divided by vernier scale reading, which means it also has two scales like the caliper. Therefore, the similarity between caliper and screw gauge is that they have two scales. Micrometer screw gauge is used to measure external diameter of round objects, external diameter of round objects and or thickness of thin objects like small rod, external diameter of round objects and thickness of thin objects like rod. So, caliper, both external and internal diameter. Screw gauge, only external diameters. If you understand all these I've said so far, it means when it comes to measurement, you are good to go or you are trying. Fundamental derived dimensions. And in experiments, we make mistakes. There are errors. Even explaining these meter rules, we discover that it is not 100% accurate. They make errors. Just that some of them are more accurate. For micrometer screw gauge, it measures the measurement plus or minus 0.1 millimeter or the measurement plus or minus 0.01 centimeter, which is also very, very accurate, like the vernier caliper. How do you now account for errors? How do you check errors in measurements? How do you put measurements in standard form or significant figures? When you have errors, error is simply the measured value over the minus the actual value, you get your errors. Thanks for watching. You're one and only teacher from the future. I hope you found this class interesting. Feel free to check out the playlist for more amazing, amazing videos. And don't fail to install the Flash Learners application right now for notes, videos, and questions to meet all your needs. Subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out any of my sweet videos. See you.
the next episode. Don't forget to hit me around. Bye.